Welcome to Rob's Rogues in the BatmanUniverse.net. Today we're taking a look at something very, very cool. It is the Batman Family Multi-Part Statue Part 1, Robin and Catwoman. This has been a holy grail item of mine that I saw it once in a store and it had like a $230 price tag on it. I thought, there's no way I'm ever going to be able uh, to get this. And it was something that I would look at every now and then. I would kind of show the wife. We'd look at eBay and different stuff. And it was it was always up there, over $200. And I thought, man, I missed my chance because I, I really wasn't aware of this at the time when it came out in 2009. I think I remember seeing ads for it that it was coming. But without having a local comic shop around me at the time... I, I never saw anything like this until, you know, years later, uh, after it had been out for almost 10 years, and then the price was as crazy as it has been, and thinking, man, this is going to be really hard to try and get a hold of, and this is one of my favorite versions of Tim Drake, as much as I love the original Tim Drake red and green and black and yellow costume, still one of my favorites is the red and black costume, I just... I love the way that costume looks, and it's Tim's own version of Robin, which I, I really like. But, you know, you get all these, and you put together uh, Batman that goes along with this set. So my wife surprised me, uh, went to eBay, and uh, picked this up for me, and ironically, she got it from a place called, I don't know if consider ironic, but got it from a place called Kokomo Toys, which kind of goes into the next review after this that kind of goes in with this but we'll save it so let's take a look at the rest of the box here as i'm rambling on uh, my wife really surprised me this year for christmas and i am um, just now getting around to reviewing it here is what robin looks like here's the robin side of the box and uh i just i love this pose of robin uh up in front in the bat family and perched at the very front of the statue base, which looks really cool. A uh, part of me does wish he was standing up so he could be, um, so you could really fully see him, but I just love this pose that Robin is in. And then the Catwoman side looks like this. Um, I'll say it in the review. Um, her face, I have a, a couple issues with, but I'll save that for the actual review part. Now, it's a little off frame here, but the height of this particular piece is 10 inches tall by 6 inches wide by 6.5 inches deep. Now, that is without the back part of the base. The back part of the base actually makes it about 11.5 inches uh, deep. There's the back of the box here where you can see uh, everything else here. Let's get in a little bit closer, a little bit tighter this. You can't quite read it, but I'll read uh, this back portion here. Batman and his greatest allies stand guard over Gotham City. Batman and his crime-fighting friends form a sometimes uh, tenuous uh, but effective alliance together. Gotham City's greatest defenders strike terror into the heart of the city's dark underworld. Uh, when completed, the, th the three statues together measure approximately, here's the overall dimensions of it, 11 inches high by 17 inches wide by 11 and a half inches deep. So I was correct there. Collect all the statues, all three pieces, and you get to put uh, Batman together here. Uh, part one will be the base, and that is just the lower part with the chimney. Part two that comes with Nightwing and the Huntress will be the legs, and then part three with... Uh, I bought some Catwoman. Batwoman and Commissioner Gordon come with the head, torso, and cape. So uh, you have a nice ability to be able to put all three of these uh, together or two of them together or all of them individually if you don't have enough space to do so. And I forgot to mention here, um, this is sculpted, uh, designed by Andy Kubert, which I love his artwork. Uh, Resurrection of Ra's al Ghul, uh, Batman and Son, and many other uh, Batman uh, stories. And I'm going to get the name wrong. Sculpted by Olaf Hartsvigsen. 
Viggesen. Uh, I was not really aware of him sculpting other things until this set. I'm sure somebody else said, hey, Rob, I've got something sculpted by him. But this is the first thing in my collection, and this is a DC Direct, which you can't quite see just off camera. This is back when they were still DC Direct, and this is, again, 2009 uh, was when this was released. So let's get into this thing, and we will get a closer look at one of my favorite, favorite uh, Robin statues in my collection right now, hands down. This is one of my uh, favorite to the Batman family part one statue. We'll bring it back. Don't go anywhere. All right, here is the Batman multi-part family statue part one, i.e. Robin and Catwoman. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, which I hopefully I did since I'm shooting these parts out of sequence, uh, some people have asked, Rob, what's a Holy Grail piece in your collection that you're looking for? Uh, this is one of those pieces. This was something, I saw it back in 2009 when it was, um, you know, publicized in comic books or whatever that this was coming out. And I thought this was something I was just never going to get a hold of. And uh, at the time, didn't think I had the money uh, for it. And then little did I know... Um, that I would be receiving this for a Christmas gift, you know, in 2017 from my wife, uh, which just really blows me away. This was something that I would point at every now and then if I saw it, and uh, she had done such a good job of just remembering little things uh, that I said that I wanted. And uh, the big thing that I've always really liked about this statue series is Robin, of course, first and foremost, a Robin fan. And a Tim Drake fan, like you guys know, I just think the position uh, that he is crouched here is just so cool, so dynamic. And uh, again, this is one of those times I really need a turntable up here. But I think this is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the sculpting that is done in the statues. Now, granted, this is 2009, so um, some of the... Uh, sculpting and some of the other parts of a statue, maybe like Nightwing's hair, doesn't look as great as it could be. But the overall aesthetic of how each of these characters look is just fantastic. Um, I think it really brings uh, Andy Kubert's li work to life um, in statue form. And I'll get some closer shots here of uh, Tim, since he is kind of crouched down. Um, I have him higher up on one of my shelves so you can really kind of see him and it looks like he's peering uh, over the top of, you know, a rooftop here. As with everybody else, they're pretty much standing upright and Robin is the only one that you really can't see, but I don't mind that just because of the dynamic pose uh, that he's in and the way his cape is billowing out. As much as I love the classic Tim Drake Robin costume, the yellow, black, and green and red one of my favorite costumes for tim is still the black and red costume i really really like that um look for tim drake it's probably one of the ones that i, I gravitate towards the most when i see tim drake um work and in figures and things like that um it, this is just a great piece all the way around even as far as the back part of the statue here um even the little you know tail uh, that is on the gargoyle, gargoyle here, which I can't talk, um, probably wouldn't even need to be sculpted, but I love when um, something like DC Collectibles, or back then DC Direct, would take those couple extra little um, moments in their pieces to really make it so, okay, you're only ever going to see this from the front, so we're not going to worry about the back. It's a completed thought from front to back, and I just, I cannot say enough good things about it. It's uh, getting harder and harder to find all of the pieces, and they're starting to get a little bit pricier, but um, I'm glad to slowly uh, be tracking all of these uh, down. So, so very cool. So I want to show some of the inner workings. Now, this is a multi-part statue. Um, Batman does not come um, in a statue of his own. By getting all three pieces, you get to essentially collect and connect uh, Batman. Uh, there is no technical Batman piece for this set. Uh, there is a base that goes onto the back part where Batman will uh, be put together. So let's take a look at that before we get into uh, the rest of the statue. 
All right, we're going to go handheld here so we can see just a little bit more of uh, Tim and Catwoman here. Uh, again, I just I love the expression that they have on uh, Tim Drake Robin here. Um, I like eventually that they gave him just a plain R here, kind of more harken back to uh, the Dick Grayson R. Eventually they did put the uh, Tim Drake R back on the red and black costume, and that's one of my favorite versions of the costume. But just a such a beautiful piece. I I can't say it enough how much I just enjoy and love uh, looking at this on my shelf. See the back part of his cape here. I love how his hand is down there grasping uh, the front part of the base. Uh, Catwoman is sculpted very, very well. Um, very voluptuous. Um, her face is a little off to me. She almost looks like school marm or some... Uh, so she looks older than what I think she probably should be. The look is just not quite there. I like it better when they give Catwoman some tufts of hair uh, sticking out from underneath her goggles or off the side. Um, it, something's just a little off in the face for me. Uh, not horrible, but not quite exactly what I'm thinking. But, you know, there's some other parts of Catwoman that, you know, in the 90s, that's kind of how she wore things. Uh, they gave her... Uh, belt almost like her rope uh, her whip kind of so I think a little bit in the 90s she her belt was her cat whip that she could take off and on so very cool and like I said uh, this piece is detachable so previously I said that if I wanted to just keep this as a Robin statue if I didn't think I was going to get any of the other pieces um, I could have just taken, we'll take it off again here so you can kind of see, could have taken Catwoman off here, and if I found another Batman statue that I liked, I could have placed it behind Robin, or some other Robin statues that I had, or put an action figure, or just nothing at all. Uh, this would have worked just great as a Robin statue, but uh, just kind of uh, seals the deal having that there. And this is very much like the Collect and Connect is going to work for uh, Batman. Again, such, such a beautiful piece. I just, I'm just in awe of this. All right, so here is the Batman piece uh, that comes with this set. And uh, as you could tell, there's no actual Batman part of the statue here. This is just the base uh, the Batman will go in. I actually have it backwards here. You can see the Bat motif there. So it actually sits like this behind Robin and Catwoman. And you can see two little holes in there, I believe right in there where the feet will get anchored down in where Batman's you know wings are his legs are standing up and his cape is all built out behind the rest of the Bat family and you can see the sculpting and the rock work and the chimney right there um, underneath it lists Batman family multi-part statue part one uh, this is 179 out of 2000 so you can see the nice rubber stops on here, so I won't scratch or ding up anything. So let's actually bring up uh, Robin and Catwoman again, and we'll uh, attach this guy uh, to the rest of the base. So while moving things around, this is one of the worst things for reviewing. Like once you get your statue set, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't want to move it again so nothing else breaks or so nothing breaks. I did break a teeny tiny piece of this off. You probably can't even see it. This black little speck is a little piece of Tim's hair right here. Like you can just see this top little piece that I'm holding here. The other little point coming up out of his hair right here. I felt it when I reached down and grabbed it. I thought, oh, that looks really kind of sharp right there. And you heard that little pop. And I was like, oh, man, really? So if you have this already, be very careful. I think maybe I could kind of sort of glue that back on. From afar, you're not even going to be able to notice it. Will I notice it? Well, yeah, of course I'm going to notice it. 
So just be careful with it. So um, my final thoughts on this set. I, I'm still blown away that, that I have this. Um, my wife did pay a little bit extra uh, coming off of eBay. But she got it from Kokomo Toys, like I said in the beginning. Um, they are in Indiana and we're in Ohio. And it was about a three-hour drive uh, to get to go see them. And because of going there, that is going to go into the next video that you're going to see that is related to this set. Um, so like I was saying, there's, I like that these things, this first part of the set is very interchangeable. You know, with not having Batman in the back, I could clearly do away without this back piece, and it's just fine. Currently on my shelf right now, I don't have the back portion on there because it's not needed at all. And if I wanted to go the extra step, I could remove Catwoman and the Gargoyle and put that back in my box and just have Robin there. But because of our trip to Kokomo, things are going to move a little bit farther than I thought they were going to. Uh, so today, uh, this is one of those that I would say, if you have a chance to pick this up, it is getting harder and harder to pick up this set. Um, just being a big, huge Batman fan in general, but a Robin fan, this has always been a must-have for me. I don't know of many other statues out there that are of Tim Drake Robin in the red and black costume, aside from the Batman animated series uh, maquettes that are out there. I think there's one or two of them. But to my knowledge, this is the only red and black statue in existence. So me being a big Tim Drake Robin fan, I really wanted to have this. So happy it's in my collection. So if you can find it and find it for a decent price and uh, it may be 175 180 could be pushing $200 that's not actually bad right now considering when this first came out uh, each of the sets were running $150 so from 2009 to 2017 I think I said 15 earlier <laughs> uh, 2017 is not so bad technically 2016 when my wife picked it up for me for Christmas but today we'll be taking a look at the Batman Family Multi-Statue number one based off of the artwork of Andy Kubert, who I uh, love his artwork very, very much and did some really cool Tim Drake, uh, Robin, and Batman stories in my book. So, as always, this is Rob signing off for Rob's Rogues in the BatmanUniverse.net saying we'll see you guys next time. It's been a little while.